Hello everyone. This is Rocking Rahul 15 and today I am going to show you how to install a custom recovery on your Android device. Before I start, I would expect you to have basic knowledge of some terms which are commonly used in Android customization. If you are not sure of what you are doing, then do not proceed. I am not responsible for bricked devices and broken SD cards. If you have any problem, let me know in the comments below and I will help you out for sure. Root access is required for flashing a custom recovery. A custom recovery may also work without root access, but it can perform only minor operations such as flashing files. If you don't have root access, then the chances of your device going into a boot loop is high. So it's better if you have it. If you want to know how to root your device without bricking it, then watch my video. The link is in the description. The first step would be to take a complete backup of your device. Very rarely, some devices may go into a boot loop, so the backup will come handy at that time. I would recommend you not to perform this if you have important data inside your device. For the backup, we will be using an app called Online Android Backup. This app requires root access. Now follow the video. We are done with the backup, so we can proceed now. If your device is listed in the TWRP website, then you can use the TWRP Manager app from Play Store to flash the recovery. Only some famous devices are listed there. Now follow the video to see how I use this app to flash the recovery. Since I already have the recovery installed, I cannot install it again. But when you do it for the first time, a dialog box will pop up asking you to confirm the partition. Just click yes and let it do its work. Once it's done, just power off your device and go into the recovery mode and check if it worked or not. Now let's proceed to the next part of the video where I tell you how you can get a custom recovery for those devices which are not listed on the TWRP website. Unfortunately, the only way to get a custom recovery would be to Google it out because the process differs from device to device and there is no common method to do it for all devices. I will show you an example of how I get a custom recovery for my Samsung Galaxy S Advance, which is quite an old device. Just Google it up and preferably choose an XDA developer post. If you don't find an XDA post, then you will need to search it up in the other results that popped up. But make sure you check the reviews before performing anything because there are some spam websites which claim to provide you the recovery but instead fill up your device with malwares and viruses. Do not ask me to provide you with the recovery website link 
as you can look it up yourself and that's how you will learn. If you have any other doubts, let me know in the comments below and I will help you out. Hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.